Let's get things started. Gunpla build off all set. Ready, go! <laughs> All right, it's Henry again, and this is my work in progress video for my Master Grade Zeta Plus C1 as my part of my build off with Jabman 025. So, as you can see, I've already uh, started on it. I've actually snapped the kit together and since then removed all of the armor. Uh, done a little bit of seam line filling at this point, but that's about it. I am just about to get ready to start painting. So, uh, my plans for this kit. Uh, when I first got it, I pretty much knew that I wasn't going to do a uh, straight copy the box or a paint job. Because while I understand the uh, you know, pretty much all gray color scheme, I understand the low contrast military look of it, it's a little bit too bland, a little bit too gray. So. I knew right off the bat that I wanted to do a custom color scheme on this guy, so that's what I'm going to be doing. Uh, the question was, what kind of custom color scheme did I want to do? And at first I thought about painting up Zeta Plus in Delta Plus colors. And then I thought, well, Delta, that'd actually be almost exactly the same as Zeta Plus's original color scheme to begin with. It only had a blue torso instead of a gray torso. And then I thought, oh, what if I did them like in a general rebel color scheme, like Rezel Type C, the tan and orange. And then I thought, oh, that's going to be a little bit too similar to the Zeta Plus A1. And I had people saying, why would you buy the C1 if you were going to paint an A1 colors? Uh, so I didn't want to do that. Scratch that idea. And I thought about, oh, maybe I can paint it in like the red, blue, yellow, and red, uh, white normal Zeta Gundam colors. And then I thought, well, the A1 will be better than that since the A1 has a beam rifle instead of this giant beam smart gun. So I scratched that idea. And uh, I just couldn't think of anything. And then I thought, what if I did like a uh, Torrington base color scheme? Uh, think GM Type C and uh, Zaku 2 F2 EFSF version. Uh, the tan head, arms, and legs, and then a dark blue body and feet. Uh, you'll see that color scheme quite a bit in episode 4 of Gundam Unicorn, so I thought to kind of do like a non-canon what-if color scheme of uh, maybe the Zeta Plus after the events of Gundam Sentinel made it back to uh, Earth and was reassigned to the Torrington base. So I think that's what I'm going to go with. So it's going to be pretty much an OOB paint job. Uh, I'm going to be painting, you know, the head and arms and legs and the wings and tan and then... I'll have dark blue for the torso and the feet, and I'm going to have a little bit of white here and there. Uh, I'm only going to be doing two very, very small modifications to the kit. Uh, the hand backings, the armor that goes on the back of the hand, I'm going to flip that around uh, 180 degrees and then add a little bit of ply plate on the back to, uh, and then angle that. And that's just purely for personal preference. I just like the way uh, those kind of hand backings look better. The other small modification I'm going to do is on this ray dome. I talked about in the unboxing video how I wish we had some clear parts for those camera lenses. Well, all you got to do is get some aftermarket camera lenses. So there you go. I think I'm going to be using these uh, clear green ones. I'll use those on the ray dome also. I think I can cut a little rectangle from this piece up here at the top to use on Zeta Plus's forehead camera and the camera on the back of the head. So those are my plans for the kit and now that I'm done talking and explaining I can actually start painting.
And after all the painting is complete, the Zeta Gundam, or Zeta Plus I should say, is finally done. So now you can finally see what the color scheme looks like in its final form. Uh, as far as decals go, I used a few dry transfers that came with the kit, the Wave Rider, MSZ, 006C1, Zeta Plus there in the shoulder. That Anaheim Electronics logo is obviously from Unicorn Gundam. And uh, Zeta Plus on the ankle armor there. Use some dry transfers on the wings as well. Back here, Wave Rudder on that wing. Uh, Anaheim Electronics MSZ. 006C1F will focus. There we go on that wing. And then everything else is all uh, water slides just from various kits and then some generic stuff. Uh, I actually like the way the color scheme turned out. Uh, it's a little bit, the tan is a little bit darker than what you would see on like a GM Type C, but overall I still think it looks pretty good. I really like the way it turned out. The dark blue I think looks really nice. I think. Uh, I remember on my Master Grade Delta Plus, the dark blue came out not dark enough. It was a little bit brighter than it should have been, but I think I got the blue spot on the way I wanted it. Also, the bottom of the feet, I think, turned out particularly nice. Using a combination of steel gray and black down there. And uh, the modified hand backings, I think, turned out really nice as well. Turned out exactly the way I wanted them. And all of the aftermarket camera lenses turned out well, uh, nicely as well. I used a little bit here on Zeta Gundam's forehead, also on the camera on the back of the head there. These lenses on the radon turned out particularly nice. I really like the way those look. And also that long, clear green piece there on the side of the beam smart gun as well. A nice big EFF decal there on the Beam Smart Gun. Also did another one of those EFFs on the leg. And over here on this leg I did Torrington and then Earth Federation Force. So overall I'm really really happy with the way this guy turned out. Oh, I forgot to show off the chrome landing gear. <laughs> Gundog is barking so you'll have to excuse her. Uh, yeah, chrome paint. It's the first time I've ever actually used this all-clad chrome paint on an actual model kit besides just testing it. So I really, really like the way that uh, turned out. So, that about does it for this work in progress video. Next up, you guys can look forward to seeing the review. And with that, I'll see you guys next time.